What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young, coming straight out of them South Memphis slums, and you are watching the most award-winning independent talk show in the whole South, none other than Brink TV. Now, do not adjust your TV set. We got a brand new face kicking it with us on the Icy White Couch tonight, but I got to be honest, I got to tell the truth. Why? Because he's no stranger to Brink TV via the countdown. This young man right here I'm talking about was dominating the countdown in the early days of the countdown went all eight weeks and he's actually award winning but we're gonna get into that in a moment i gotta tell y'all about my guy chucky mo how you doing yeah yeah what it do i'm glad to be here i'm doing great hey first and foremost i gotta say thanks for being a guest on the show man hey i'm glad we finally made it happen man glad to be here I got here, I'm like, yes, I'm finally on the white couch. Yeah, man. Hey, been a long time coming, but we made it happen. But there's plenty that we got to talk about, man. I kind of want to start with the beginning. You actually are from Greenville, Mississippi, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about that, man. What was it like for you growing up in Greenville, Mississippi? We talk about the country, man. Yeah. What was it like growing up for you? It was it was slow. It was it was good, you know. Uh, it was a learning experience, you know. It was room for me to make errors. Uh, Southern, you know, learn about you know life and being positive, and you know you got you learn work ethic. So that was, was like you know growing up there. Ain't nothing country. like them country boys. Shout out to everybody from that silk man. Like I say, y'all know how we get down. So let's go ahead transition, man. You actually moved to Memphis. You've been here probably about a decade now, right? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit over a decade, like uh, about thirteen years. Okay, so let's talk about some of the biggest differences between Greenville, Mississippi, and Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the people. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so uh, you get uh, a lot more diversity in Memphis. Yeah. Um, I do find that you know I move to Memphis because you, I still get the country life. So I get the country life and I get a little bit of the city life. And um, it's the, it's the people. It's like more opportunity, so that's the biggest difference. And it's fast, so the stuff you do in Mississippi ain't gonna be able to do here. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be on that hustle. Yeah, man, definitely gotta be on point. So one thing that you told me off camera, you know, and we're about to get into your music career, but one thing you told me off camera really touched me. You mentioned how in Mississippi, you know, where you're from. You would tell people your dreams, and they might say that you're dreaming too big. You know, would you would you like to expound on that a little bit, real quick? Yeah. So, um, you know, in Mississippi, you know, everything kind of, you know, it's real slow. You okay. Know, how it is with the states and stuff. Mississippi is like one of the lowest states. So, when you like dream big, like I'm gonna be this big business owner, or I'm gonna be, you know, uh, this big artist or entertainer or actors, like people think you're dreaming you know to be so you can't do that you gotta like think about like the universe i'm gonna aim for you know like the whole solar system then i reach the moon you know you just think about you gonna reach the moon you gonna get to the sky so yeah mississippi is like that um you really gotta push through yeah. the trenches to you know prove to people this is what i want to do yeah and i gotta you know agree with you on that man it's got to be some type of motivation to have a lot of people once you tell them your dreams they're like ah oh, man you from around here really is it really gonna happen but you definitely pressing through that and i'm proud of you for that let's for transition sure. into the music man so how long you been doing your thing uh, i've been doing my thing uh seriously about four years okay now. Seriously, okay about four years before that you know, uh, come from music background, you know, church, family singing, uh, and band. That's why I understand, you know, when you're getting a beat, how many beat per minute, you know, yeah. snares and all of that. Uh, but seriously, about four years now. You say you was in band. What instrument you play, man? I got to know that one now. <laughs> I played the trombone. Really? Yes. Funny moment. I played the trombone as well. Really? I was actually the second best trombone player in the school my sixth grade year. You know, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't even read music no more because I didn't stick with it. Like, yeah. I was dope, but I didn't stick with it. Yeah. You know, I tell people that you got to, you know, use it so you won't lose it. Right. Like, that's, that's the real thing. Yeah. And it's dope that, you know, we play the same instrument. But yeah. when you come from, a, a, you know, getting trained, you have a different ear for it. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely say, that's why I say, you, you want to do something, stick to it. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so I mean, is you still playing the trombone now? Or what, man? You you don't you don't let it go for the rap, man. What you do? Uh, I kind of let it go for the rap. Okay. It only you know I'm using my voice as an instrument now. So, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Just, I'm, I'm kind of like you know baritone deep. Yeah. Kinda yeah. Beer white. I got so, you. Yeah, I got this, you. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the artists that you had in rotation when you was coming up. Who were the artists that you was looking up to? First, it was like Slim Thug. Like okay. Somebody, you know, like the Texas, you know, that. Yeah. It's Slim Thug and um, 50, uh, Cassidy, Fabulous, Jim Jones, um, man, Webby, Boosie. Those were like the artists that, you know, we kind of vibe to. You gonna yeah. get, you know, real. You gonna get club bangers. You gonna get it all. You gonna get some sexy in there. Yeah. So this, this kind of like where, you know, my music how they come from and i think it's quite interesting that you and of course shout out to all them artists but i think it's interesting that you mentioned like slim thug and the whole texas sound you kind of give me a texas vibe you know you kind of i think yeah. when i hear you i hear like zero or somebody that deep voice that southern draw that you have i think that's kind of got some texas flavor to you man little texas t little texas t it's all good shout out yeah, man. So let's go ahead and talk about Straight Drop. That was the single that actually brought me to you. You know, Straight yeah. Drop. That song is out right now. The video was crazy. Let's get into it, man. Yeah, with Straight Drop, I just wanted something, you know, that felt fresh and, you know, opposed to my other releases. I'm like, I need something that going to be like, they going to get it. Yeah. Like, and I just went in. I'm like, I don't need no hook. I don't need nothing. I'm just going to say what I need to say. Everybody going to be vibe with this joint. So I just spent like about a week listening to the instrumental. And I was like, I ain't going to think too much about it. You know, I'm just going to kind of freestyle a little bit. And boom, let, let my peeps hear. They're like, oh, they jump up. Yeah. Hit the video. Like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so man. That's got where it came from. Okay, man, that video, like I say, super dope. Old girl in the video was so sexy. I was like, who is that jumping in the bed? I wanted to know, like, who is shouting? Who is that? Uh, she's a, a hairstylist, a local hairstylist here in Memphis. Okay. She go by the name of Nikki. Um, you know, her social media is uh, Slay Nikki. So, yeah, I hit her up. I was like, this my vision for it. She was like, let's get it. That's what's up, and hey, it's been history ever since. Now that video, like I, I said, and you know, when I was tell, talking about the single, that video actually was on the Brink TV Music You Live countdown, and of course, man, that was one of among the first videos that actually got retired. But it was actually the first video where a celebrity introduced it when it went to number one. You know, of course, we got to say shout out to my guy, Kia Shine, for introducing shout that one. And if I'm not mistaken, Clayton English from 85 South Show, he actually retired the video, so that was pretty dope, you know. So definitely shout out to him, you know. Let's talk about, you know, the idea of being from Greenville, Mississippi, and eventually your music, your video, your vision, your dreams, it's on television. Like, how, how does that feel? Um, it feels, it's wild. It feels good. You know, I'm like, I'm like blessed. I didn't realize uh, everything because you try to enjoy the, enjoy the journey. Yeah. You know, on your way to wherever you're going. And um, I didn't realize until my brother hit me and was like, my God, you on TV. You know, we used to watch this like on TV. And yeah. he said he was going to be on TV one day. And he was like, I respect you. You know, you did what you say you going to do. And I was like, I'm really on TV. Shout out to Brink. Yeah. Like, shout out to Brink TV. I'm on TV. No doubt. Shout out to me. Yeah. You know? So I was, I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here and thankful and I just want to stay here. Yeah, I promise you. And one thing that I got to tell you, man, and, you know, I did mention this off camera, is your passion, you know, when you was making it on the countdown and all of that, and then you let me know, hey, I really appreciate this opportunity because, you know, sometimes artists we don't get nominated for nothing we don't win no awards and to me this is like an award and i was like wow you know that meant a lot to me because that was the early days of the countdown i'm gonna be honest with y'all you know i knew what i was doing but i didn't know what to expect so to see somebody like yourself taking it so seriously you know putting in the effort to get those votes week in week out man that meant a lot to me and it actually motivated me you know was one of the motivating factors 
for me to create the Brink TV Countdown Awards, you know. So, so sure. I definitely got to say I appreciate you for that, you know. And I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because we got something else we got to talk about about them awards in a minute. But like I say, let's get back into the music. So are you working on like an EP or anything or, you know, mixtape or what? what's up, man? Yeah, I'm actually um, with all you know the success I've getting, I've gotten. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, dealing with someone now that's kind of like developing me. Okay. So I am working on some. Uh, we are, you know, putting together a mixtape and then something that's my own. Okay. So I have recorded quite a few tracks, but the only hold up is you know I want you know certain people on the hook that yeah. I want like an R and B track. You yeah. Know, uh, some like I'm working on this track similar to Thug Holiday. Okay. So I'm really like that's the whole look with it. So I got like two projects coming out around by like summer and okay. around by fall this year. Okay. Hey, so y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. But of course, music is on all social media. I mean, not social media. Music is on all digital platforms right now. You just got to type in Chucky Mo. But you told me one thing about last year, man. You got a lot of bookings. And you available for bookings right now as well, right? Yes, sir. Now, I got to ask you, man. What could the viewing audience expect from a Chucky Mo performance, man? What's your stage presence like? I got to know. Man, it's a wow. Like, uh, I be transforming. So, you get there, like, we turning up, you know, we pre gaming. When I hit the stage, it's gonna be wow. You're gonna be like, yeah. You're gonna be to understand everything I'm saying. You're gonna be like, yeah, this, 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 this beat, this nigga, you know, right, he riding the beat. Yeah. So, it's gonna be lit. But uh, moving forward with, like, you never prepare for, you know, the six, sometimes for the six that you get. Okay. But my performances, I got, like, uh, it's gonna be more visuals from me. Okay. I got a videographer. I got, you know, a stage person, like stage tick to do my like um, props and stuff like this. So okay. You gonna see a lot more of that from me this time. Like I'm trying to take it to the next level this time. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, like I said, be on the lookout for my guy Chucky Mo. So of course, I got a two part question. I gotta throw at you, man. So. Being from Greenville, Mississippi, I don't want to just limit it to just that one city. Let's just make it basic. Let's say Mississippi. How would you describe the rap or hip hop scene in Mississippi right now? Right now, it's a lot of dope people in Mississippi. Like um, my cousin, you know, my producer, like my um, my producer for my beats and stuff. He's from Mississippi. And okay. He's dope. Like so, shout out to him, BJ Torchy, and all you know, like my songs I've done with him. Um, it's a lot of people like uh, this in Mississippi that's dope that I'm trying to collaborate with. Yeah. But I do think that um, they lack that that big quality of like recording in the studio. Like they don't have that tool to you know come into the environment of like Memphis. So you you hear the sound of them being good, but quality to the music suffer because of the studio. And so most people, you know, they hooked on whole studio time, I'm doing it. They just talking about it instead of, you know, going about, you know, investing some good equipment and then, you know, people gonna be able to see, okay, yeah, when I turn this up in the club, I ain't getting a lot of feedback. You right. know, I ain't getting a lot of screeching. Right. So I do think, you know, Mississippi um, we got some people coming up out of there. Look at me. Yeah, there it go. There it go. So let's go ahead and flip the question. Let's talk about the hip hop scene in Memphis right now, man. Where we at? Talk to me. It's lit. Yeah, man. The Memphis hip hop scene in Memphis is lit. And just to be a part of it, you know, I'm elated. Um, everybody getting it. You got, you know, hip hop artists. You got, you know, R&B artists. You got pop artists coming from out of Memphis. Uh Look at Gorilla, she just made it. So yeah, that's true. I feel like Memphis, you know, because of some of the realness that Memphis, you know, has people, you know, they can resonate with it. So I feel like the people that's getting it, that's grinding, putting in the work, you know, they're shining, putting on for the city. So shout out to everybody that's doing it. No doubt, man. So, of course, we got to talk about outside of music and entertainment, man. You got any hobbies? Like, what, what you be into, man? Any shows you be watching? What's popping? You know, I ain't want to say it, but uh, I'm trying to get into acting. But okay. It's kind of hard. Okay. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, you know. But as um, far as, like, my hobbies and stuff, I'm always about knowledge and stuff like that. I'm currently, you know, getting with um, 
a few individuals and I'm teaching them like financial okay. intelligence and stuff like that. Okay. I'm big on it. Uh, you know, I went to college for business management. Okay. So um, I'm now doing it. Uh, it's lucrative. I yeah. say that. Um, I'm always reading and, and things like that, trying to help people. Knowledge is power. I am trying to get into doing a podcast. Okay. But um, as an independent artist, you know, you have to take your time. Yeah, so, absolutely. I just want to be able to, you know, pace myself and give people quality. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. All right, so of course I got to talk about the cookbook, man. Yeah. You told me about the cookbook. Yeah. I want to know about the cookbook. What's up with it? So the cookbook, it ain't going to be a full cookbook, but it's going to be like a booklet. Okay. So you have like several breakfast recipes, you know, lunch and dinner. Of course, you know, I had to put the oxtails in there because I'm from the silk. <laughs> I you got know, you, yeah. Their recipe, you know, the sweet potato casserole. Then you got uh, waffles and sausage and bacon, eggs, and all that type of stuff going to be in there. So, um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming real soon. It's coming real soon. You know, I just, I have a lot of peers that, you know, like my cooking and stuff and my friends. And they be like, what's the recipe? What's the recipe? <laughs> so like, I'm finna put it in a book. Yeah. And yeah, we finna get it. Hey, you know he from Mississippi. You know Mississippi people can cook. I mean, for real, for real. Like, hey, <laughs> how you licking all your fingers? Everything. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Now, matter of fact, let's get into the social media that way, because I'm pretty sure once you have a cookbook out there, be able to check out the social media and find it, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Because I'm, I'm working on the website, but it ain't done yet. But, okay. Um, but you know better, you do better. So Chucky Mo is going to be C-H-U-C-K-I-E. M O E. There's all uh, streaming platforms, all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok. You gonna see that uh, all on my social media, and um, I am working on doing more visuals for social media. So be sure to follow me. So when the cookbook drop, you'll be able to cop one. No doubt, no doubt. Now this is my favorite part of the show. I don't bring TV. We got two cameras. This camera over here, that's your camera. I need you to look into that camera and tell the viewing audience why they should check out check Chucky Mo, why they should check out the cookbook when it come out, your music, everything you got, even the podcast. Go. Yeah. So um I represent realness, you know. I'm gonna always tell people believe in what you do, don't listen to nobody, just go for it, put in the work and you know, just be happy. You know, be happy on the way to happiness. And I just feel like looking at me as a, you know, a man that came from Mississippi, you know, pushing forward and all the barriers I done broke down, don't let nobody box you in. And if I'm motivating someone to touch the world then i'm just happy with that even if i'm not able to motivate the world so that's all i'm about you know good life on purpose hey like i say my guys definitely breaking them barriers it's a lot of layers to them but it's another thing that we got to do before we leave now i mentioned it a couple times i glossed over it a couple times now I know, well, y'all should know. Let's put it this way. The Brink TV Music You Live Countdown Awards just took place. It was a successful, wonderful event. I got to say thank you to my co-host, Miss Jazzy. I got to say thank you to all of the artists who submitted a video over the period of time who was nominated and the winners. Now, since I brought up winners, you actually won the Brink TV Music You Live Countdown Awards 2023 Best Eight-Week run and i thought that it would be a dope idea to present you with the trophy on the show like on camera so like i say i this is what we do at brink tv so i mean i think it's around here somewhere so hey here we go right here that's your trophy like it says chucky mo best eight week run Hey, man, I think you could do an acceptance speech like right about now, man. Congratulations. Go ahead. Let the people know how you feel, man. Whoa, you just you just blew me away with that when I wasn't ready for the acceptance speech. But I just want to say shout out to, you know, everybody that pushed me and believed in me. Shout out to my supporters. Y'all are amazing. Like, for real, for real. Shout out to Brinks TV for presenting, you know, everybody with this platform. Be able to be great. And um, I just say, you know, just keep going. Never give up. Just always keep going and never stop loving yourself. When you love yourself, you put yourself first. And when you believe in yourself, and this is what hard works look like. So thank everybody. 
Hey, man, we talking about from Greenville, Mississippi to Brink TV. That means to the world. I got to say thank you for being a guest on the show. Thank you for being a part of the platform, man. It You're means welcome. a lot, man. No You're doubt. Welcome. So with that being said, now back to more Brink TV. Yeah.